Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves here with another video and this time it's something a bit different that I've not done before. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the new upcoming Apple event that's just been announced tonight. I'm incredibly excited. Um, I've been a bit of an Apple geek for 20 years and I've been using Apples my whole career. Now I've been waiting quite a lot for some new laptops to come out and it looks like they're finally going to be announced and coming soon at the new Apple event you can see behind me coming on Monday. So if you're like me, you've been kind of using um, Mac hardware for quite some time. The last couple of years have been a little bit kind of like wait and see while Intel was wound down. And we've been looking forward to the transition to Apple Mac Silicon uh, for quite some time. Now, of course, the Apple M1s released last year and again this year were nice machines. And if you look at my uh, channel, I've done some testing on Vectorworks and Twinmotion on how they run. However, you know, they're not what you call pro-level machines. Um, there's not enough ports. Uh, they're kind of, you know, lacking in RAM. But the biggest consideration is the graphics card. There's no built-in graphics card. And the GPU core is just not really up to the job for, you know, proper 3D architecture and 3D visualization. So this is where I've been uh, following the uh, inside information. I don't know about you guys, but I watched all the other events and came away a little bit disappointed. They were nice events. Um, but I was underwhelmed with the hardware that was announced. So I'm hoping this is the one and uh, all the reviews and other kind of inside information that I've been following tells me that this is the event that you want to be watching if you're an architect or designer or 3D visualizer who uses Apple or likes Apple and you're waiting for the new big thing. So these next new bits of hardware are going to be pretty awesome. Now we think they're going to be called the M1X, uh, possibly M2, but Apple likes to surprise us, so let's wait and see. But the key thing is they're going to have up to 16 or 32 uh, gigabytes of RAM. And the most important thing for me as a designer is the GPU. So this is the bit I'm hoping for. Um, 16 core or 32 core are what the rumors talk about. Now if we get that kind of performance, I think the built-in days of the built-in graphics card could be moving slowly behind us, um, certainly for some kind of portable types of work. Um, at the moment, I ran a MacBook Pro uh, 2016 model, believe it or not, so I've stretched that out for a good five years. But the thing I did was get an eGPU, and that eGPU has a Vega 64 graphics card, and it gave my Mac a new lease of life. It's been amazing. Even when I go to the office, I cart this big box around and take it down to the office. It's so good, I can't live without it. But what I'm really looking for is a brand new MacBook Pro 16-inch model that will basically do everything I need it to do. And I truly believe and hope that these next models will be the ones. Now, you never know, we might get some new iMacs as well. Um, but for me, as a, an architect who does a lot of teaching and training, I really need something that's portable. I like to work on the train and when I travel, I like to have my mobile studio, I call it. Uh, come wherever I am, basically. So for me, that's really important. And all I do when I'm in the office or back at home, I just hook up to 32-inch screens. So I've got the best of both worlds. I've got the nice big quality screen. And when I'm on the road, I've got speed, portability and rendering. So I hope you guys are as excited as me about this uh, event. Um, I don't know whether you'll be watching it. You know, let me know in the comments if you're interested. But this is a new little kind of style of video for me. As you know, I make lots of Vectorworks, Twinmotion and Enscape videos. But I don't generally comment on hardware and things so much. But I'm thinking as we approach 10,000 subscribers on the channel that this would be quite a nice uh, thing to move into a little bit more where it's important. So we'll give it a go and we'll see how the video does. The most important thing though is as an architect or a designer, you know, let me know in the comments the kind of specification of computer that you're interested in seeing and let's see what comes on Monday. So I do hope you enjoy the Monday event. If you haven't signed up, um, like the rest of us geeks, please do watch it. Why not? And it should be very exciting. I've got a feeling as soon as the event's finished, I will be putting my deposit down to buy a new computer. I've been waiting for this for a long time. But the great thing is, if you do look at my channel, I've already tested Vectorworks on a little MacBook Air. I did uh, Twin Motion as well, which, you know, in theory shouldn't really run on a, a fanless 8 gigabyte MacBook Air. But you know what? It did run and it ran quite well. Um, I'm not going to say it was amazing like my PC, but it was good performance. 
So, super exciting. Um, one big announcement on the VetDuit side. VetDuit 2022 is the first CAD software and BIM software to run natively on the Mac in the world. So as you know, I'm a huge VetDuit uh, fan. That's really important, so I can't wait for that. Twinmotion hopefully will be getting there soon. And Enscape is currently being developed for the Apple M1 processors, I think with these in mind. So Enscape coming to Apple uh, Max very soon, next year hopefully. So some really exciting developments. It's a great time to be a Mac user again. Um, after a couple of years when it was, you know, maybe a little bit underpowered, I would I would say. It was fine, but you know, I did buy a PC for blasting the renderings out. And that's nice, I love the PC, but it's noisy and you know, you kind of uh, miss the seamless, uh, should we say, design Apple interface and everything kind of just works. So very, very excited as you can tell. Let's hope that we get something really juicy on Monday's event. Well, thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.